What's up, dude? Hey, man. We are rolling and going. Thanks, uh, thanks for being here. That was this is Evan Sharp. What song was that you just played for us, man? It's called the Upswing. The Upswing, and that's your newest. Is that your newest single? Yeah, I released it a few months ago. The backtrack's a little loud. Let me turn that down. Sorry. Just try that. Cool. Well, so that's your newest. Uh, uh, you released that when? Sorry. I'm trying to think. I think it was a few months ago. I think it was probably June, maybe. Oh, okay. It's so been a little bit. So I mean, it's not it's not brand brand new, but no. it's your newest. Yeah, it's the newest thing I released. I had some. That one's uh, the first time that I've recorded anything with uh, some strings, like a, an accompaniment. I had some friends do cello and violin. Yeah, I heard that yeah. recording. That was really cool. So and the, and you mentioned there are two names in there too that helped you out with that. Yeah. And so that uh, and so they did the strings. Yeah. In the background. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. That cello sounds really awesome in there. Um, that, I'd say I'd, I said Evan Sharp, right? <laughs> we have Evan Sharp yeah. here. He, he, made, he made it to the show. So yeah. we're, we're happy, happy, happy to have you here, man. Um, I spent all day listening to your stuff. I dig it. I dig it. I appreciate um, it. Yeah, for reals. It's cool. It's, it's uh, right up my alley. Like we were talking a little bit, obviously, before. But um, I was an acoustic solo artist. You, you also have other bands. We'll talk about that yeah. here in a second. But um, we have a lot in common, man. I'm a little older than you, but other than that, we have a lot in common in our musical taste and uh, stuff like that. I, I I was a solo acoustic artist for a long time, and I'm a big punk rock fan. And and uh, do you, do you skateboard and stuff like that too? Or? No, I don't skateboard. You know, I, I think that I think that kind of is that gone? Is that fad? Is that was that just a fad? Is skateboarding? I don't see anyone skateboarding anymore. It's all like 
long yeah, boards long, and you see long, long boards. Boarding, yeah. Long boards and snowboarding is kind of what everyone does now. I don't know. I'm a 90s kid, so <laughs> that's where I'm stuck. It's, it's just the way it is. <laughs> so Sweet. Well, let's start from the beginning, man. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? What you doing? What's your plans? Uh, so I am from Idaho Falls, Idaho. Been in Provo for a little over three years now because I go to BYU. So you're just right up the street um, from yeah. us right here in Provo. Yeah, not too far. Right on. Going to BYU. Yeah. And tell uh, us what you're doing at BYU, man. So uh, it's been a journey, but eventually I landed at Latin teaching. And, that is uh, awesome. I am the only one in my major, so. Yeah? Yeah. That is awesome. So, uh, and I'm not going to lie, we talked a little bit about yeah. this, so I I, I am aware of this, but what, where is this Latin thing Take this Latin thing taking you and let's talk a little bit more about it after this but like what are you doing right now yeah so um, I mean I've still got some school left but while I'm finishing up I actually already started applying for jobs and so I actually just um, got hired on at a charter school in the area um, and so I'll be teaching uh, middle school Latin sweet yeah. that's cool you're going to be working with the worst age possible yeah. man but, you know what it pays bills and it gives me good work experience it does. it's graduate, excellent work experience so. excellent yeah. work experience and it'll be cool working with kids and just teaching them stuff I mean Latin yeah. I mean Latin is a cool 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 language that's, that's, I was in, that's an interesting thing to get into that's that's yeah. that's what, what got you into that what, what made you want to do that you know what? I'm just kind of big into languages yeah and I was doing, I was actually originally studying, um, well, after a short time studying electrical engineering, I was studying actually um, like the Greek New Testament because mm-hmm. um, I was big into doing like biblical study Dude, stuff. I'm like, huge on that, man. Yeah, like an huge, academic yeah. study of the Bible, right? So I, was, I, so I was actually majoring in Greek and studying mainly like the ancient manuscripts of the mm-hmm. New Testament. Um, and I found out my favorite part about it was really the languages and I wanted to just teach languages. And there's a, I was already kind of picking up some Latin for like early Christian literature mm-hmm. stuff. And basically there's a lot more jobs in Latin than Greek. So I just switched and went straight into the Latin. Right on. So. Cool. I was actually, that's the reason I was asking. I was wondering if it was something biblical, if like yeah. it was something that had to do with biblical uh, uh, translations and stuff like that. Because obviously that was, that's huge with Latin and Greek and Hebrew and stuff yeah. like that. But cool, man. That's a, that's a cool story. That's, that seems like that's, that's going to take you down an awesome path of uh, like, what, what, are, what are your, what's your end game with that? Honestly, I mean, I want to teach. I like languages, and so I plan on just teaching languages, and then it basically gives me a good schedule to be able to still do music stuff. Right on. So, so yeah, and that was yeah. going to be my next question. Yeah. Is, is music kind of just a side thing, or if, if that takes the wheel, are you going to go with music? I mean, if music took off, that would be where cool. I would put my focus. Right it's kind of just I decided might as, Options, well have a, man. might as well have a job that I enjoy exactly. to fund my music career. Right? And it's cool. So, right? That's an awesome job. That's, <laughs> uh, like You should be proud of yourself, man. I mean, Thanks. You're a young guy, and you're already – you're already teaching other young people important things, and that's cool. That's more than I can say I've ever done for anybody. <laughs> so, right on. Well, let's talk a little bit about your music, dude. When did you start? Let's talk about let's talk about these bands. You have a band in Idaho, you said. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I've been I'm playing a guitar since I was 13. I think is when I got my first one. Um, and obviously, like through middle school, high school, I played like on and off in bands and stuff. Right at the end of high school, I started playing with my brothers because I have an older brother who plays bass and a younger brother brother who plays drums. Cool. So we started just like jamming together. And brother then, band. Yeah, and then my older brother's friend like started playing with us, and so we kind of, you know, created this like four piece pop punk band basically. It honestly wasn't really originally pop punk. It was more of kind of an indie thing, and mm-hmm. then it, it just kind of developed into punk over I'm, the years. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah <I'm> emerged. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've been I've been doing that for what it's been probably six years now of that, um, but obviously I live in Provo now, so so it's kind of hard. Yeah, so I mean it's hard to write stuff. We released that one EP a year ago, and basically which is awesome, by the way. Let's talk. You can find all this, all of his, all of this stuff we're talking about. You, we can find on all of the platforms, right? Yeah. So the band yeah. is called Footlight Parade. Yes, and check and, them out. They're awesome. Um, and the uh, EP is called Love Wins Then You Die. Yeah. Cool. Um, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a Facebook page. We have it all up on Spotify, Apple Music, that stuff. Sweet. Um, so that band's been going for a while. I go home all the time just to play in shows with them. Occasionally they'll actually play here. We, they played a. Uh, our band played um, at Valor in Provo. In, uh, oh, nice. Let's see. It was in March. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wish we were Facebook friends then because I, well, now that we are, you yeah. keep me posted if they come back because, yeah. I mean, all of your stuff I want to come see yeah. live, but that in particular, 
I would have a way good time to that show, dude. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I mean, that music is right up my alley. Yeah, but, the, yeah. the title of the show is actually like bringing pop punk back to Provo. <laughs> <it was> like, <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. That's a good one. Good stuff. So you said you played a good Charlotte song. I, I Did you say a song? or We played three, actually. Three. So yeah. uh, first of all, let's talk about what we're talking about here. You said you did a cover show the other day. Yeah. And you played some good Charlotte stuff. And what, what songs did you play? Because yeah. I confess completely forgot good charlotte existed until you brought them up and now i want now i'm all of a sudden thinking oh yeah i'm remembering all these songs by him <laughs> so yeah so we we covered three of their songs one of them was the anthem yeah obviously, obviously. You, can't, you can't do good charlotte without playing the anthem and then we played dance floor anthem sweet right um and we also played lifestyles the rich and famous lifestyle man that's a flat that throws me back man yeah. i haven't heard those albums since i was listening to them on cds yeah. <laughs> seriously yeah, no kidding that's crazy stuff man cool cool so you have that band and you said you have another one here yeah so i've been doing mainly solo stuff for about the last three years here in provo mm. uh, i'm just doing a lot of soul singer singer songwriter stuff i played i mean i've had brief little stints in multiple bands right? oh yeah or like yeah. help friends out that kind of stuff um but a few months ago i started a band here um called local forecast um Virus and threat protection just popped uh, up. Sorry, dude. Well, no worries. <laughs> All right. I'm glad to know we're protected. <laughs> in our ears. Sorry. Hang on. <laughs> so, yeah, we started a band called Local Forecast where it's originally I kind of wanted to turn my solo stuff into a full band. It's a little bit different genre, but it's more in kind of that like indie alternative. It's a little bit softer than my punk band, but it's still like rock. Um, but we haven't released any music yet. It's still fairly new. We've just been writing stuff. Cool. So nothing nothing that can be found yeah. as of right now. But but it's but it's in the works and yeah. you're, you're going to be releasing stuff. Yeah, we, nice. we've been talking to uh, our plan is actually to record an EP before we start playing live. Mm -hmm. So we've been talking, getting quotes right now to start recording. So probably within the next month, we'll be starting recording. And then hopefully by the end of the year, we'll re release something to start playing shows. Who are you so, playing with? Uh, it's just, you know, it's some honestly, I mean, they're friends now, but I just met them all trying to form a band. Oh, did so, you? So, yeah. okay. So, yeah. so you met forming the band. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. That, that's it's incredible how many people we've met that do that like i i was never down to do that i always yeah. had to play with people i knew i got too bad of anxiety playing with other people but because i mean i had a hard enough time playing with my friends yeah. <laughs> like let alone people coming in you know so that's that's cool I've, I've never thought to do that but a lot of people do that and it works out for them so people you get along yeah. with and it's working out yeah i mean it's cool. great it's great now honestly i love all the guys it took it took a while though you kind of cycle through a bunch of people as sure. you do it, right? Sure. Yeah. Some people either aren't as interested in the style or you just don't get along that well or that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's been a process. I tried starting, like, I decided I was going to try to form a band back in, like, January, and we really didn't get it, like, figured out until, like, very recently. Gotcha. So. <laughs> but you you say you've been playing since you were a young teenager. Yeah. yeah. So were you one of those kids that, like, sat in the hallways at school and played the guitar while all the girls sat around and swooned and stuff at you? No, nah, and I think it's probably because I... I mean, wasn't very good looking. Oh. So it's like, <laughs> no, that's what the guitar's no, for, man. Right. I mean, you have to be to some level of like, <laughs> no, right, before it like really works. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know how to judge on that side, so I don't really know. But from what I can see, I think you're lying, bro. But okay, we'll take that. <laughs> well, thanks. Fun. Appreciate it. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so we won't give your age away, but you're a young guy. You're going to school. Um, you're doing this Latin thing. What What are your plans with the music? I mean obviously just keep playing shows you got any shows planned let's talk about that you got anything coming up that we want to oh, talk that's about that's a good question um if you need to bust out your phone and look at your calendar go for it yeah, just definitely want like, to promote your shows if you have some coming up I, I mean i have a couple that we're in the works of like booking right now but we haven't decided on the specific date don't keep us posted man yeah so yeah i don't actually think i have anything booked right now yeah we haven't done our we haven't been keeping up on our website very well but this is a good reminder because Let's keep up on our website and get, shoot us your shows when you get the chance after the show. We'll do, yeah. And on our website, we'll post them on there, and we actually have like buttons for to, you can push to buy the tickets and yeah. stuff like that. So let us know and give us that, and we'll throw it up on our website yeah. because that'll motivate us to keep our website going because we've been slacking on that lately. So <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So you have that one. So what what was the one album? It's something about in my up here in my head. Or it's something a like beautiful that. day to be in my. Head. It's a beautiful day to be in my head. Let's yeah. talk about that a little bit. What where did that come from? Uh, you know, love the album by the way. Thank love it, you. love I it. It's beautiful. It. I I had this idea where I wanted to do just like a live album because I wanted it to feel more raw. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's pros and cons to that, mm -hmm. right? Of course, but it's just a bunch of songs I've been writing for the last few years. Now, every single one of those are originals, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and honestly, it's a 
if you didn't notice, it's a pretty dark album. Mm-hmm. I did, and that's why I loved it so much, dude. It, it, it's honestly, I tr- I was just as real as I possibly could be. Now, can I ask a personal question yeah. about it? Does it have anything to do with your spirituality and faith and all that? Because I was I, I was catching a lot of glimpses of that in there. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of religious themes. Yeah. There's a lot of just like struggles. I mean, there's a lot of like depression, just anxiety, li- just type life of stuff. stuff. Yeah, life stuff. I mean, it's basically, I mean. It's, it's, it, check it out. It's an yeah. excellent album. I'm, I mean, this is a primo album. It's live, um, so like you said, obviously it's not uh, it's not a produced album. But I mean, I honestly thought the live aspect is what made it that much cooler. Thanks, I uh, appreciate it. I honestly it. thought that. So um, definitely, definitely check that out. So um, God, I wish I remembered that one song that I freaking. It's like the third song on the album. Can you think about? Oh, it? um, it's yeah. The, it's called. Uh, I'm happy when I don't have to be happy. Is what I think that is. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that was it. Yeah. I loved that song, and I actually wanted to talk a little bit about. Like, do you have any stories about all any, any in particular songs, or is it? And you brought it up. You suffer from depression and anxiety. Yeah. Or is it, is it, do you? Yeah. I do too, painfully. So another thing we have in common, and that's why that's why your songs are so excellent. I think is because they come from a real place. Because depression and anxiety sucks, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, everybody always tells me like. It, because that's like really my you know emotional outlet right is mm. those songs and so everybody always tells me when they hear the music for the first time they're like this doesn't sound like you at all mm-hmm. right <laughs> so because you don't wear be, you, you don't wear your a lot sadder yeah, and darker yeah. than like how I usually behave in person yeah right? you, you don't wear your emotions on your sleeves yeah. like I do probably <laughs> you don't you don't go out with a frown on your face you go out with a smile on your face and that's a good thing <laughs> that's good but that, it's it's good it's I'm, I'm glad you shared that with me because yeah. I actually that's actually a big part of this show I don't know if you've noticed or yeah seen that's that, honestly the first time that i like watched one of your shows and got into it that was part of the reason why i liked it oh so, cool oh yeah. so you saw one of the let's rise episodes yeah. I, don't, I haven't done very many and i want to do more but i like focusing on not focusing but i like bringing it up when people um have depression and anxiety issues because it's it's it it makes for more real music and that album the, that live album is just absolutely stellar like i honestly can honestly say that's one of the better albums i've heard this year out of any local artist i've heard this year i appreciate like, it man. honestly you, and it's and it's live so that's saying something because you <laughs> killed it dude so yeah i'm excited to hear some more stuff man so yeah but let's keep talking here for a second so where where were we we stopped at um you started asking about individual songs individual right? songs yeah so let's hear some stories about some of the songs on the album maybe the ones you're going to play today yeah. do, you have, do you have some background on some of the ones you're going to play today yeah um let me think so uh you know, one of the songs I'm planning to play today is actually the one that the album's named after. It's called uh, It's a Beautiful Day to Be in My Head. Cool. I remember that one, right? too. Right on. So. Um, and that was actually the point when I when that song came out. That was kind of about the time when I realized that I was going to put an album together that was, like, all kind of themed that way. Uh-huh. Um, because it was, I mean, it was mainly about just, you know, having tons of emotional and religious and spiritual struggles just going on in my head, right? Um, and how a lot of people usually don't know what all is going on in my head. Yeah. Um, and that song was, I don't know, it was a little bit weird how it came about. Because I actually dreamt the guitar part. Cool. Um, and it was more than just, like, I've had, I've had friends, you know, like, dream something before and try to figure out what they were, like, mm-hmm. dreaming, right? It was a little weird. I remember I, I dreamt playing this guitar part. And I could kind of, like, visualize where it was on the fretboard. And then I woke up, and so my first thought was, you know, like, oh, I should try to figure out how to play that part that I can kind of picture. Um, and so I, I pulled up, like, grabbed my guitar and started trying to work out the frets of, like, where it was and try to get at least most of what I had heard in my dream. And then I woke up a second time. Really? And so, I, you know, you experience, like, Inception, uh-huh, basically, uh-huh. is what it was, right? <laughs> so I literally had just learned how to play a song from a dream Dream. that I learned like in a dream it was like it was just (laughs) weird that's a crazy story so when I woke up the second time I picked up my guitar and I already knew exactly how to play the part because I had just gone through the process of trying to learn it from a dream in that previous dream that seems like one of those things where that song was meant to be Like it's, it was it's something was making sure that song was getting written (laughs) well and and what's funny is then so I I had that guitar part all of a sudden pop out and it was like I'm pretty sure that was on a Friday night because it was Saturday morning when I woke up and like had this all like guitar part going on and then I had a really bad weekend I was having like 
there's like some relationship relationship struggles and the re- relationship kind of ended and I was just like really in a dark place and so the words that came out over that was probably the like darkest and most real words that like, I've ever written oh yeah well that's and, that's when it happens <laughs> and so and so it just that song happened and it was like that point when I realized like that the songs that I was like writing from then on were just these like very real kind of like dark just like like Op- wide open transparent picture into like what was going on in my head heck yeah right? dude so we're excited to hear that one now before and we'll hear that one right now in just yeah. a second what but i want to know who recorded that album um so that that album was recorded um the head the engineer was his name's josh schneider okay so it was it just how did you how did you go about recording the album so i actually i i recorded it at cold house studios if yeah. you know what that is right yeah. Um, and well, I don't know exactly what okay. it is, but I know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Josh was one of their engineers there. And I honestly was just looking around for people that would maybe want to do it. And I had like heard some recommendations from Josh and he's now a okay. good friend of mine. I mean, we've, I've talked to him a bunch now. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so honestly it was really just that no real production because all just, the, yeah, all yeah. the, all the recording that I had done before then for like my band and stuff was all done in Idaho. Uh-huh. So I didn't really have people that I specifically wanted to record with here. Gotcha. So I just found somebody said I wanted to do a live album and we just mic'd up my guitar and my vocals and I just like played the songs. Yeah. So cool. and he, he did a, he did a wonderful job of making it sound beautiful. It's a beautiful album. I mean, beautiful yeah. is the right word for that album. Beautiful album. Awesome album. So appreciate it. Let's, uh, can we hear that song? Yeah. Sweet. Let's do it. Let me, let me get you set up. It's a beautiful day to not give a shit. I'm lying awake in your arms. We both know it's not really happening. I know. Trying not to kill myself, trying so hard. And I hope it's really a thought that counts. I hope. Cause I might not be here in a minute, but I've come so far. So remember me for what I did before. It's a beautiful day. To not wake up Cause I died in my sleep And I'm praying That I'm done It's a beautiful day To not wake up Cause I died in my sleep And I'm praying That I'm done That was spectacular. Thanks, spectacular. Man. Let's get our camera set back up. 
Dude, that was absolutely fantastically beautiful, man. I really appreciate that. No, Thank seriously, you. like that was absolutely that that gave me the feels, man, and that's a <laughs> that's a big deal. So, um, what what we, before we just started the camera, you just said something. What was it that you just said? Oh, that you focus yeah. mainly on the lyrics when you write, yeah. which is huge. So, I'll let you say it again. You focus <laughs> mainly on the lyrics, right? Yeah, I, I mean, like. I grew up as a lead guitar player, and then in the last few years, my biggest focus was just on songwriting and trying to make sure lyrics were really just good and deep and meant something, because mm -hmm. I cannot listen to a song when the words just sound super cheesy. Well, exactly. I mean, and, and especially when you're a solo artist, a lot of people say that it's really, really important, which it is, it's important on both ends to uh, focus, like a lot of people who are in big bands say, lyrics should be secondary yeah you've probably heard that a lot so and, and focus mo mainly on writing good music but when you're a solo artist you kind of have to flip that around because you have because your lyrics are pretty much what's making the whole thing yeah unless you're jamming some crazy solo on an yeah. electric guitar or doing something crazy like that but in this aspect obviously the lyrics are what's or what matters the most and you kill it dude you're one of the best lyricists i've I've heard. I'm not even. I'm not even kidding. Though that Seriously, just that, just based on that song alone and that one song, I, I I'm pretty sure it's number three on your track. Yeah. Like, dude. Like, I'm excited to hear more. So, what else you got for us, man? Um. So this next song is uh, it's called Let's Talk. It's not on the album. I haven't recorded it yet. Oh, it's, sweet and exclusive. Yeah, we love these exclusives. Yeah. <laughs> so it's actually one that will the first time it gets recorded will probably be with this new band that I'm playing in. Oh, um, nice. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that hopefully it'll be out by the end of the year. But so, or do you want to give us this new band's name, or is that something you're yeah, not? Yeah, it's, really... it's it's local forecast. Local it's forecast. Called. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. Um, Just to watch for. Yeah. You know? The what's uh, what's funny about it is that it, the song came out a couple months ago because I was kind of having this moment where I was feeling a lot better spiritually and in a better place than I had been when I wrote most of the songs on mm -hmm. that album, right? And I remember listening to the album and thinking, man, that was, was really dark. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I had this, I, I kind of had this moment where I was like, I should really try to write happier songs. And I, honestly, just because I wanted to try it, yeah. I started trying to write it. And I couldn't do it. I do. Yeah. I, seriously, I've done that same thing like so many times. Like I need to write a happy song, and it's hard, huh? Because every time I try to write happy, the words just sound cheesy. Stupid. And awful, exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. And and so this was the closest I could Love get it. to a not depressing song. Cool. And it still turned into this kind of like spiritual battle where it's mainly kind of like about talking with God, um, and it's not really happy at all. But it's. It was like that was my attempt when I first started the song. That's where it was going. So this is as yeah. happy as it yeah. gets with this guy, apparently. Yeah. Speaking of which, I have a song coming up later that's called "As Happy as I Get." <laughs> nice. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that that one's on your live album. I, actually, this one it, it isn't. No. So. The the it's this is as happy as I get. No. The next one I, I don't think I actually. Oh, is that one not I on your live album? Is, oh, no. I just thought I recognized the title. Some of the titles are similar. So. Yeah. But and they're very yeah. they're very they don't really fit with any lyrics of the song. It's just sort of like the title. Yeah. Like that, and, yeah. and I love I like songs. I did that a lot too. So, dude, we have a lot in common, man. We really do. So, cool. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't have a lot of music out there anymore. And I don't know if you've heard my stupid song. I have up uh, that gnaw, but um, yeah, dude, that's no, the, I haven't. That's sorry. the that's the that's the last musical endeavor I've made. But yeah, it's it's somewhere amongst my shows. If you ever wanted to go, yeah, find I'll, it. I'll but, listen to it. But um, yeah, so uh, name of the song one more time. Sorry, dude. This one's called Let's Talk. Let's talk. All right, let's do it. No, I've been acting like I'm done with you But all I want to do is talk Can we talk? Cause I've been praying Just 
searching for joy like a selfish child Suppose you already gave me all I need So let's talk I swear I'm trying Another killer song, bro. Thank Another you. killer song. Thank loved you. it, loved it, loved it. And that one's not available anywhere except for on the Kip and Company Entertainment Talk Show right now. Yeah, that's exclusive. That's exclusive. <laughs> right on. Cool, man. So you're kind of like me. Your your idea of a happier song means more means faster paced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a poppier vocal. A poppier though, vocal. Right? There you yeah. go. There you go. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice, dude. So um, what 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 are you? God, I want to know what your future plans are, but you're you're a teacher, so he, not a lot of not a lot of uh, musicians have such a good side job. So <laughs> so it's hard so it's it's hard with you because it's like which way should you go? Because honestly, the teacher thing might be better than the musician thing. But well, uh, the plan's always been that I wanted to keep focusing on music, but understand that I like. It'd be nice to have a job I didn't hate that was supported. That's that, so right? smart, dude. So, Having a job you hate is the worst. You probably had a few, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. But right on. So, um, uh, what was that song number three? We can fit a couple more in if you want, dude. Yeah, we got dude, I'm two, down. Yeah. Sweet. What else you got for us, man? Uh, this next one's the one I mentioned earlier. It's called "As Happy as I Get." No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is another one that I don't have recorded. I've had it around for a while, but it actually, I decided to leave it off the album because not because of the quality of song. I just felt like it wasn't exactly the style that fit the rest of the album. Yeah, it didn't fit the bill. Yeah, cool. But I really like playing it, so. Right on. What's the? Is there any specific tale behind this one, or was it just sort of something that just you wrote? You know, it was more relationship trouble, but it wasn't the worst one I've had. It okay. just kind of happened. <laughs> so you base so you, you you base a lot of your songs on relationships and religion. Yeah, it sounds like. honestly, most of my songs. There's probably three topics. It's either had trouble in a relationship, had trouble with my relationship with God, or just was having a bad day yeah. yeah so i shouldn't say religion i should say spirituality yeah. i shouldn't say religion i should say yeah. spirituality yeah, yeah. so I, i'm i'm huge on that man i've i've tried to write a song like that over and over and over and i can't accomplish it i just don't have it in me i i'm too dark i think but <laughs> i i've been trying to get this we I, I mean we don't need to get all philosophical here but i've been yeah. trying but i've been trying to get a relationship in that area as well i've been trying to be more spiritual and i've been trying to like do all that and when it comes to writing a spiritual song God, i just can't do it I just cannot do it, so props to you, man. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that except for just giving you some more props. Well, so. I will take it. <laughs> <laughs> right on. All right, let's set you up for song number three. Or wait, was that song three or two? It'll be song four. This will be, oh, this will be song four. Yeah. Cool. Right on. Let's do it. Driving even farther by the day And if we're being honest, I'm sure I can
Dude, have you ever heard of the Lindsay Diaries? No. You sound a lot like that guy, man. You should listen to him. You'd like him. It's it's no. it's the Lindsay Diaries is his band. I don't yeah. I don't know what his name is, but check out the Lindsay Diaries, dude. You 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 sound. I mean, obviously you're different, but you sound a lot like him. I think you would. I think you would really really like that guy. Oh, but, I will. But um, yeah, you don't need to move, Bobby. We're just gonna keep going this way. So uh, that was. I mean, we've got time. Do you think you can pull two more off, man? I can do two. Yeah. Cool. We got two uh, more then. What, what do we got next? Um, let's see here. I'm wondering. I, sh- I should try to play that one that you like so much. Yeah, but I do. I, I was I'm, I was gonna request it, but I didn't want to because I thought maybe you had so a plan. So I like I didn't I didn't practice it at all beforehand, and I might forget the words, but I will try it. Hey, you know what? That's why we do separate tracks. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So let's talk a little bit about this song before you play it. Yeah. Um. So the last two songs that I'll play here today. Um. This. <laughs> both kind of have to do with the same time period of my life as about a year ago um so i was in a i was in like a you know a pretty serious relationship right and uh during like the last month of it i kind of just had the feeling that it was probably coming to an end yeah. sometime right yeah and and for a little bit i fought it um and then the there was one night where it just like hit me that I knew it was about over yeah. right like that kind of a thing mm-hmm. um, and then the following day she broke up with me and I was like <laughs> oh, she beat you like, to the punch dude and what was even funnier about it what was even funnier about it is that I hadn't written a single song that I liked the entire time I was in that relationship <laughs> until then <laughs> yeah until that one See, that's and I finally wrote what I was happy with and then the next day it ended <laughs> that's, that, that's all she was needed for bro <laughs> was that song <laughs> and then you both had to move on with your lives <laughs> yeah. that's cool so what's the song called again uh, it's called I'm happy when I don't have to be happy right on let's I'm happy 
happy here Spending time with people of my own town No longer forcing a smile I'm happy because I don't have to be happy Always heading down Isolated islands of constantly flaking out Isolated islands of doubt I knew that it was coming But I still ran Face first into the wall source of happiness something something I can't control I knew that it was coming I've been gone for far too long and now my mind is calling calling me back home only half of me is pleading please don't make me go cause I'm happy so cold, so cold. Decisions made, I can see it in your face. Conclusions were made before you came today. coming but I still ran face first into the wall I made my source of happiness something something I can't control I knew that it was coming I've been gone for far too long now my mind is calling, calling me back home Only half of me is pleading, please don't make me go Cause I'm happier in the moments, even when you act so cold And finally, I've lost too much hope That I can be someone when I'm Finally, I've lost all my hope that I can be someone when I'm not, when I'm not. That was it. That was most definitely it. I love that song, man. Thanks. I love, love, love. I, I love that whole album. Seriously, I might, I, I might seriously be able to say that that your your live album might be one of my favorite albums right now, dude. Thanks. I've, yeah, I, I, I've, I've, and I only started listening to it today, and I seriously, I love it that much. I was excited for you to get here after I heard. That. I mean, I was excited for you to get here anyway. But after I heard that, I was like, dude, I want to hear this guy play live, and you are delivering. My you friend. know, I appreciate it because I get mixed reviews because it's like usually people that are very into you know lyrics and like serious music love it and then people that like are more kind of into just like poppy feel good totally. music don't care for it because it's you know it's live it's raw and exactly. so it's not like produced and it's like pretty just mellow right? yeah and so. yeah no and i see that and but that's you got your life planned out perfectly dude you got you've got this acoustic live album that you either are gonna love it or you're gonna like the more the pop punk stuff so you've got a pop punk band <laughs> yeah. and you got people who like the in-between stuff so you got an indie band and then <laughs> yeah. you've got a job as a teacher and you're going to college 
and you just you got your you got your shit together, man. Good for you, dude. Good Thanks. for you. you you've got I'm glad you've, somebody <laughs> feels that way. <laughs> yeah, at least one of us yeah. does, huh? <laughs> you're you're killing it, bro. You're killing it, and I and I wish you nothing but the best of luck. Now, what where where's your inspiration as far as other musical artists? come from um well from a very early age my inspiration for guitar playing has always come from john frusciante from red hot chili peppers oh okay cool just because i like idealize his technique his, his technique and his just mind for music mm-hmm. yeah for real he, he's incredible at playing and he knows when not to play mm-hmm. when to play a tiny bit and then when to just go all out that's right? exactly yep and i agree with that 100 yeah, yeah that's a, cool i loved him and then when it came to like singer songwriting stuff honestly the biggest influence i've had is um do you know the band frightened rabbit no never heard of them so they're kind of this scottish like indie folk band um, and they're not really a band anymore because the lead singer Scott Hutchinson actually killed himself last year. Oh shit, that's bad news. Sorry, dude. Yeah, and it was. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. What I'm saying sorry to you because he's a band that you liked. That but sucks. His, but anyway, his like lyrics and his songwriting just always blew my mind, and it was like. Now it, wait, you said he killed himself. Yeah. So was it? Was he depressed? Or, yeah. So yeah. another another depressed artist probably released awesome music before he went, huh? Yeah. Kind of like this in the same lines. Like are you and Elliot Smith. Have you heard of Elliot Smith? I don't think I know who that Dude, is. Dude, you need to check out Elliot Smith, man. Same thing. Yeah. He released awesome music. Didn't really make it that famous until after he offed himself. Oh, man. But, but no, good stuff, dude. Good it's stuff. It's too bad. So, da- rap, down the... Frightened Rabbit. Fri- Frightened Rabbit. I'm going to check him out. Yeah. I'm going to check know, him out. What's even interesting about it is that he, he... So, he killed himself by jumping off a bridge, and he wrote a song about jumping off that bridge, like... I can't remember how early it was. I think it was a couple albums before like he actually did it. Oh, really? It was like he wrote a song That's about eerie. how he would commit suicide if he did it. That's eerie. It's cool. I mean, not cool. Cool's the wrong word. It's eerie. Yeah. <laughs> but in a good way. Yeah. In a, in a legacy type of way. Like it almost like he knew what he was doing. And that's what's eerie about it. Yeah. Like, like he's been planning that for like a couple albums. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, it's, that's it's trippy. Cool, it's trippy. That's cool. I'm going to check them out. So Frightened Rabbit. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to check them out. Okay, cool, dude. What else we got? So I got one more song, and it's the final song from that album. It's called I Still Hurt. Sweet. And it's kind of a continuation of where I left off on that last song. Because what happened was, is, you know, that relationship ended, right? And then, and like I was, you know, I was okay with it. Because again, like it kind of was, I mean, yeah, she ended it with me, but I kind of felt like it was the right thing, right? Like it was, I mean, it was sad, but it was like it was the right thing to do, Mm -hmm. right? Um, and I actually just happened to be, I was in Europe for a month. And so this whole thing ended just like a few weeks before I left for Europe. So I was just like traveling around a bunch of different countries, like having a little bit of vacation, trying to get things off my mind. And one of my best friends, at least I thought we were really good friends. Um, don't tell me lives in Prague and Uh we were supposed to meet up and like, you know, go to lunch together and have a, you know, just like catch up and whatnot. Because it had been, you know, a couple years since I'd seen her. And she just straight up ghosted me and stopped responding to anything. She like You re- went clear out yeah. to Europe to see well, her? I didn't, I didn't go to see her. Oh, okay. I went for other reasons. I'm okay, like, let me man. Make that clear. I, was, I was going to Europe just because... So, um, but I, she was... A, I, I lived yeah. in Europe for a couple of years. So, like, oh, I have cool. friends over there, right? So, like, I... I was, did you live in Europe or did you serve in Europe? I served. Okay. I was a missionary, there you go, there you go. right? So, I, I served in Slovakia. So I was over in that area, had lots of friends. I was just going to hang out and have fun. That was a cool mission. Yeah, it was fun. And then, uh, so I was planning on meeting up with her because she was one of my best friends that I made while I was over there. And she would like read my Facebook messages. You know, you can see that they read them and then she just like would never respond. And I was like in Prague. She just like totally bailed on me. I haven't heard from her since. It's been a year since how, I've heard How her. could she dare talk to you after that? I, like, yeah, I know. I, I, like so, I, I would never talk to you again if I yeah. was her because that's one of the meanest things anyone could... You were came from another country. I mean, yeah, you didn't go to see her. I wasn't her. going to see her. No, right no, 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 no. But that still, was... <laughs> what a bad time to ghost somebody. I mean, he's. I, I don't know. That just seems really, really yeah. messed up to me. But okay, so cool. it was sad, and so then I was like already kind of getting over the relationship, and then mm. that happened. So when I got home from that trip, I was still just kind of like messed up in my head because it was like coming back to the real world and like re- remembering yeah. all that stuff, right? And so it was. The, this was the first song I wrote after I got back from that trip. Yeah. Um, and so it ended up being the last song that 
made it on that album like before you know, I recorded. You know what kind of a friend she is, and I've said this before. She's the kind of friend that says, "Here, let me help you up," and then she helps you up and then kicks you in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, I know a couple of those people. They'll come over and they'll help you up, but right as soon as you get up, they're gonna kick you in the nuts. So yeah. Anyway, all right, cool. Let's hear your last one, man. I'm excited. Let's do this. Stuck on the outside Looking in Does it really take my faults to heal your hand? That's so I won't ever love again is faint and I sure as hell won't ever let you back in my whole head is sick and honey I still hurt
Dude, that guitar at the beginning and end of that was awesome, man. Excellent writing. Thanks. Excellent Thanks writing. Great song. Great album, dude. Great album. The whole thing is absolutely spectacular. Thank you so much for coming and sharing. Dude, thanks for all having this. me. Seriously, it's dude, been a blast. It's been an honor and a privilege. It really has been. You you were by far one of the best artists we've had on the show so far. So congratulations and good luck to you, man. Thank you. Um, aim at me for a second. Check out his album. Uh, sorry, what's it called? In, in, it's a beautiful day to be in my head. It's a beautiful day to be in my head. I always know the in my head part. It's a beautiful <laughs> day to be in my head. He also has, what's the other band's name? So Footlight Parade. Footlight Parade. Has an EP called Love Wins Then You Die. Sorry, I aim it back at him. <laughs> yes. So you, Footlight Parade, Love Wins when, Then You Die is the EP. And then I also have one other single up called The Upswing that's with a cello and violin accompaniment. It's really good. Yes, excellent stuff. And... Um, question for you yeah. when you get what's the other band that you're working on again local forecast local forecast you guys want to come on when you get oh, stuff together yeah totally because i would love to have you guys on so oh, yeah dude yeah and, and if it. and if you got and if you can get your idaho buddies out here if they ever come out you guys are welcome on too sounds great. like i want all three of your projects on here man great that's how much i like yeah dig your stuff thanks for coming on man. Yeah, man go ahead and wave bye to the camera for us say peace out and i will say bye too thanks everyone evan sharp he was here and now he's gone he'll be back thanks guys peace Kip and Company, the Kip and Company, the Kip and Company, the Kip and Company, Entertainment Talk Show.